Good morning, everybody. I am Christopher Bartlett here with ECISD's Techie Tribe Instructional Technology Specialist, and I'm going to show you how to download Screencastify and use it um, for remote learning. So what you want to do is just in Google, type in Screencastify. Now, this is an extension for your Chrome browser. Um, very, very simple to add on, very simple to use. So we're going to click here and then add to Chrome. We'll do this. We're gonna add our extension. Okay, so now we've got it on here. This is our Screencastify. Um, it looks like, if you'll look right up here in the top right-hand corner, it is this little pink arrow. So we're gonna click that. Now what's nice about Screencastify is this automatically um, links to your Google. So what we always recommend is link it to your ECISD Gmail. Um, that seems like kind of the best way to go about it. That way you know you've got everything there for you. It saves all your videos automatically to your ECISD um, Google account drive. So right here, automatically save videos to Google Drive. Very, very highly re recommend that. So we're gonna click sign in with Google. Then I want to set my permissions. I want to give this permission for everything, right? I want to make sure that this has the permission for my camera and my microphone and that I can draw and annotate to make it a little bit easier um, for students to follow along whenever you're creating videos. We're going to allow all of these. Okay. What is nice about Screencastify is they have a bunch of stuff in the very beginning to help you um, kind of get your knowledge base up. Um, so if we go here and we click, this is really the important parts. Um, right here, we can choose how we want to share what we want to share. So we can share just a browser tab. Um, so it would just be this selected browser tab right here. I can share my whole entire desktop. So that way, if I go, then what's important about that is, um, if I just share my browser tab, if I leave that browser tab, then nothing else gets shared. And so that can make it very frustrating um, if you have something where you're going to be jumping around to different things. So if you're going to share your screen, I would say do your desktop. That's going to be the best thing. Um, and then you can also do webcam only. Um, so if they need to kind of see you the entire time, you have that. Um, a lot of people, what they do is desktop. Um, you want to make sure that you choose the microphone, right? Whichever one you are using. Um, and then if you do the embed webcam, that's not necessary. You don't have to do that. Um, but if you want them, so there's a video of me going on this corner right here. That's what the embedded webcam would do is that's going to just have that going for them, right? So then I'm going to go here and I'm going to record Okay, now that I am in Screencastify, I switched over. I was recording the um, screen from another application um, to show you how to download Screencastify. Um, but now that we've got Screencastify downloaded, I want to kind of go and give you some brief um, instruction and just show you a little bit on how this works when you're inside of it. So I chose to share my entire screen, my desktop, and then also I did my embedded webcam. So this is what it means whenever you embed the webcam, and that's just so that they can see you while um, you're talking. Um, you can make this smaller or bigger, um, just kind of depends on what you need. If you need it there um, for them to see, but you don't need it, you know, super big in the beginning, that's fine. You can make it really small. And then if you need to kind of them still see what's going on the screen, but you need them to see you a little bit more, um, you can make it bigger. So it's really just up to you or whatever um, works best for you and what your needs are. Um, then what is really, really nice about Screencastify, so um, right now um, they are doing, um, it's a 10 minute limit per video, right? So um, they'll record, you can record for free up to 10 minutes. And then I know that there is a um, limit on the number of videos that you can record um, per month, but I don't know exactly what that is. I'll put it in the YouTube uh, description. That way I've got that information for you. But what is really nice about Screencastify is down here, they've got the um, annotation toolbar, right? And so there are a lot of different things that you can do with this, right? So um, we can hide the cursor when the mouse isn't being moved. Um, we can focus the mouse. I can pause my recording from here. Um, and then also I can change this into a pen, right? So I can write on the screen as needed, um, and then I can go back and erase it. Um, but this really, really, really helps whenever we are sharing different things um, remotely for our students. So this 
in essence becomes kind of like what you would use um, your smart board for something like that or document and camera. Um, you're able to interact with it and they're able to see what you've got going on. Um, and then, yeah, you can just do wipe screen. So if you just need to erase a little bit, you've got that. But then if you want to wipe the screen clear, um, either Alt-Z or check this box right here. Um, and then you just switch it back and then we can go right back to um, the mouse. What is also really nice about this is you can highlight your clicks and then that way, whenever I'm, whenever I'm clicking on something, it highlights right there like that um, to show them what the important part um, or get their eyes focused where it needs to be. Um, so this has been a very basic kind of introduction into Screencastify. I'm gonna stop this video now and then um, show you how to how to find it. Okay, now that I have finished my Screencastify video, this is the page that it takes me to. So this is the welcome to the video page. Um, so we can do a quick little tour right here. We have the ability to trim our video a little bit. So if you're familiar with Flipgrid, um, a lot of things that you can do with Flipgrid, you can do here as well. Um, we can give our video a title. Um, this makes it easier whenever you have um, it going to different places and just for organization. So um, I'd imagine we're sharing a lot of stuff through like Google Classroom and different things. Um, so having these titles is really, really important um, in keeping everything organized. Then you can also copy the Google Drive link just from here, get that shareable link. That way you can very, very easily, if you're not using Google Classroom, because this will let you share um, straight to Google Classroom, but if you're using something like Remind or um, Class Dojo or something like that, you can copy this link and just shoot it out, um, right out to them. Um, and then, like I said, right here, when you share your video, you can take it straight to YouTube or what a lot of people are gonna probably end up doing is just share it straight to your classroom. And when you do that, you can choose which topic and where you want to put it and that way it goes along with whatever organization system you've already got set up for your Google Classroom. You can also download your video as well, um, either audio only or you can do it as a video. It kind of just depends on whatever, again, whatever you need it for. And then there's an even more, um, you can edit even more with your merging clips, adding text, cropping, different stuff like that. Um, and that's the big thing. Whenever it comes to Screencastify, a lot of it is very uh, user friendly. Um, it just kind of, you just need to kind of get in there and then kind of play around with it a little bit. If you have any issues um, at all, just let us know. Um, I'm still in the office, but we've all got our phones um, sent to us. So even if they're not in the office, um, we can get to you. You can also email us, we'll get to you pretty quickly. Um, but if, uh, I think this is it, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good day. Stay safe.